Okay, so um, it is 8.01 a.m. I just finished the live with Bye Bye Baby. percent off of those um 20 percent off of strollers and we know how expensive strollers can get so you guys are going to want to take advantage of these sales i had to change my clothes because i was sweating and so nervous i don't know why i just hate going live um i don't know what it is i just have a complex with going live and like having people like actively talk to me um I think because when I first started, like, there were so many trolls and things like that in that type of arena. Um, so it's kind of just made me, like, just shy away from it, and I don't know why. And this time, there weren't any, like, real trolls. Of course, people were saying some things, but it wasn't, like, bad. So it obviously has me thinking, like, maybe it's not so bad after all. Maybe I should go live more often. Um, but all in all, I was very nervous, and it went really well, and I'm very happy about that. Um, my anxiety was through the roof um just honestly until i and since i signed the contract until now um just nervous about going live um but anyways we're in vegas it's 8 1 a.m um we had to be live at 10 a.m eastern which was 7 a.m this time so we were up early we have an hour until <clears throat> the convention starts um so we are getting influencing stuff in order like the actual work stuff, and then we're gonna switch our gears to Lux House. I'm really excited about it this time because one, I left the family home, <clears throat> and I left them home so that I could focus and really figure out like, what are we doing? What direction are we going in? Do we wanna add other entities within Lux House? Like just so I can have a clear mind because I knew if I brought both girls, which I had originally booked the trip with all the team and all like Corey and the kids my mom like everybody so she could watch the girls but then i was just like i really want to have a clear head and be able to like breathe for a second and really figure out what i want what direction i want lux house to go in so i canceled all of that and we just brought the team so the girls are getting dressed so that we can head out um and get going we have some content to submit that i shot last week i had a uh, what do they call it at school an ouchie last week um some type of allergic reaction where my face like blew up um so if you see some of my photos from the last like week or so my lips look a little more a bit more plump um than usual and no i did not get filler um i had an allergic reaction but i was like i'm not letting this not let me work so i went the day went to urgent care got a steroid shot got some antibiotics and slept the rest of the day next morning i was like mark i'm ready to shoot so my face is a little bit more plump it's not weight gain it's not filler or botox i just had an allergic reaction but i wasn't gonna let that hold me back so all of that content from last friday we have to submit today <clears throat> and hopefully the brands will let me go live um I'm also just excited to get like sound sleep here. So I'm gonna come after we go to the convention for a couple of hours, I'm gonna come back and rest. The ladies will probably head out, do some shopping or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's what's going on. So then this week, I told them that if we finish everything that we need to do, we can low key take off the rest of the week. I want us to utilize as much downtime as we can because we have about a month until the influencer Super Bowl situation happens. And if you've been here a while, you know that that means holiday season is coming up, which is where we legit don't sleep. We don't, we don't bat our eyes, um, which is a blessing because that means the business is rolling in. Um, so trying to embrace as much downtime as possible before then. Also with the holiday season coming, we have a lot of big birthdays for us Shayma will be 30 on September 19th I'll be 30 in January Corey's birthday Harper's birthday Christmas all in that same busy season um so I just try to embrace as much stillness in the August September time frame so that you know I, I feel okay enough to to be moving then um 
So that's what's going on. <clears throat> I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to update you guys on. My anxiety has been through the roof just with leaving the girls, but I'm trying to really embrace. Like, my anxiety is there, but I also like have like seven people at the house taking care of two kids because I'm just paranoid and I'm like, well, she needs backup, he needs backup, everybody needs backup. So my brother, Corey, my mom, our nanny, my postpartum doula, <laughs> Jawad, Harper's Wawa, which is Shayma's brother, who is gonna stop by when he get when she gets home from school. So we have an amazing tribe in like back like like we're they're good so I'm trying to keep telling myself that so I can like literally just check out and sleep and not be worried about them. Um I just also have really amazing daughters who just make things I mean they could be a little dramatic, but they're very easy kids. Um and I'm grateful for that. So yeah, and an amazing husband. Now my husband really holds it down. I'm not gonna give him an another baby, but Stuff like this makes me want to give him another baby, but I'm not going to do that for a while. Um, but he just really holds it down. So, for one, he does night shifts anyway with the kids. Um, and for the last, like, week or so, he realized I wasn't really sleeping because of Zoo. Kind of just being kind of fidgety in her sleep, so he noticed that. So, he's been making me sleep with my headphones in, and he put her crib right next to him so that I basically don't hear her. Um, until it's actually time for her to wake up to eat. So he's been doing that also while taking the Harper's monitor and putting it by him so I don't hear that either. So he's been basically taking on the night shifts with the girls which is, I'm so, I'm so grateful for him. Um, and like I was all antsy and like freaking out leaving and he was like, uh, we're fine. Like you can go, enjoy your time, have a drink, live your life. He like loves to see me out doing stuff so I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful to have a husband that like is that way. Oh, are you done? And yeah, so that's what's going on. We're about to head out. Probably get breakfast, do a little debrief of work stuff, and you then Lux house stuff. Can you guys be proud of my sister for not having a panic attack and actually leaving her family for 48 hours? 24 hours. This close. What's the you know the but like. Y'all don't know this about her, but she's improved. This is this is good. Yeah, cause I I honestly last week I was gonna cancel my ticket and then just send them, um, but I didn't, and I'm here, and you that's what's going on. <laughs> and here come the ladies. Oh, y'all cute. Um, so that's what's going on. We're about to get to work, so we have to. You know what? We have to debrief some work stuff. Like I said, influencing stuff, and then we'll shift gears to Lux House. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now. Hello guys, so we are leaving. We're gonna go back and regroup. We met and talked to all of our favorite vendors and people that we actively use just so that we can continue that relationship and meet them face to face. Because typically it's email, phone calls, all that kind of stuff. Um, so we met with them. We found a couple of new vendors, actually one really good one that I'm excited about, actually two. Um, one was on the higher side, so I'm not sure if we'll go with it because like I would pay a certain price for certain things, but 
when you have a brand you have to make sure that everybody will pay a certain price or a, a, a good handful of people um but i think for certain like quality like reusable multi-use pieces it would really be good so we're gonna see we're gonna go back sit down and evaluate what this fall collection looks like what do we have what do we want to do for holiday what do we want to do for spring because all the spring stuff is already out here um which is something that we learned last time because we came like oh i'm ready to like get stuff right now and like they're like man we're already in spring of 2023 um so we're about to debrief write down what we have write down pieces that we're missing and figure out some new plus size vendors because it just is down bad out here and it's crazy so if we don't find any plus size vendors that we like that's where we're really going to be serious about finding a manufacturer who we can design stuff um and kind of just go that route so that's what we're doing right now hello guys okay it is tuesday we are about to head out back to the convention to do a few last roundups um, we need to grab a few more plus items and we're looking at adding another avenue to Lux House. So we're going to check out some vendors to see how possible and how soon that that could happen. Um, we are headed back today. Our flight leaves around 6 p.m. I think 5.55 to be exact. And we have late checkout. So we're going to go do this, go do some work, probably come back and eat, shower, nap, do whatever we do before we head to our flight. What time do we need to head to the airport? Four. We just look around. Regardless, we're gonna get the airport on this flight home. So. Oh yeah, I gotta get back to my kids. I miss my kid. I, I miss her a lot. I miss my kids a lot. Um, But we also need to be here before this place opens so that we could be the first ones to be served again. Come back, refresh, and then head out. Then dip me under way Kill my mother flow and I went slow Hold me to ice cream for every And wash me over until my will runs dry Send all your sins all over me, babe Me, babe Me, Saturday we have had a full week um Corey is out at a game um it's Saturday morning so he had a game this morning um he's been playing in games really just to keep active um in the case that we get a phone call and he has to up and go he wants to be prepared so he's been playing in some of like the local um games with some of the other athletes that he's friends with um so he's doing that Zuri is down for a nap. I just got dressed while she's down because we're gonna go for a walk when she wakes up. Harper is with her ma too. Uh, my mom had to do a training at church and then they were going to see some of her other friends who were in town preaching at a conference. Um, so she'll be out most of the morning. So it's just me and Zoo here. I've done some cleaning, um, washed the bottles, organized the closet and started prepping for next week. Um, I'll probably do the rest of it on Sunday, but just wanted to get 
some downtime and like a clear head coop be normal um so that's what's going on i'm gonna go for a walk i have been intermittent fasting this week um just trying to like kickstart my body into like realizing like one we're not pregnant anymore and um just trying to like get back to cleaner eating and things like that um not like on a strict diet or anything like that because i still want to be able to enjoy my summer and like go out with the girls and not be like annoying like oh can't eat this can't eat that so when i'm home um i try to do as much as i can so that i don't feel bad when we go out and i want to order and do stuff um we have dinner with the girls this week we have date night on monday so lots going on it's been a good week um we hired a new nanny a few weeks ago and we've been kind of getting her adjusted and acclimated to our life and having her learn everything. So that's been going really, really well. So the more she gets acclimated and adjusted and just like, you know, fitting in and um, stuff like that, it relieves even more pressure each week. So really, really happy about that. I'm feeling rested. My postpartum doula, um, ends this week because she is actually having a baby so her last week is this week um for the three nights a week that we have um with her so like night nurse slash postpartum doula um long story short she keeps zoo three nights a week in a different room um, and basically does her wake ups and feedings and things like that so that ends this week i am um in the process of I don't know if I'm gonna hire someone else to kind of take it on. I think I felt bad because I was like, oh, not everyone needs a night nurse and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm learning how to stop comparing myself to other people or moms that do it all um, because we all have different stories and different lives. And if I need a night nurse three nights a week so that I can get good enough rest to do what I need to do in my life and fulfill my duties, then so be it that's my life my story um, and it doesn't have to look like anyone else's so i'm in the process of seeing if i want to hire someone else to take on for a few more weeks or just for as long as i need because we can do that and that's my business as tab would say so i am in the process of figuring that out and then um, kind of just seeing where these next few, few months will lead um, we have a lot these end of the months end of them last few months of the year are the busiest for us. Um, we have Shayma's 30th next month, Jan's birthday is at the end of this month, um, Jan's one year is next week, and then of course the holiday season is like Super Bowl season for influencers, so it's our busiest time. So I'm like, do we need to take a quick vacation before October um, so we can get rested up for the rest of the year? And then of course we have Harper's birthday, Corey's birthday, Christmas, Thanksgiving, then it's my 30th, so I'm figuring out what I want to do for my birthday. Because typically I don't care about birthdays, but my 30th, literally since I turned 21, I was like, the next big birthday that I care about is my 30th. So, of course, as we get closer to it, I'm like, eh, I don't need to do anything, but I'm sticking to my word of I'm going to celebrate my 30th the way I want to. So, yeah, that's what's going on. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I try to always end it with a little, like, recap of what's going on, but... I'm feeling good. I did not work out um, this past week. That would have been week four for me working out. Um, one, because we were in Vegas, but also because my postpartum bleeding started back again. Um, and it wasn't my period. I've already had one period, um, but my postpartum bleeding. So I think I may have done too much in the gym too soon. Good boy. He's learning not to bark to come in. Good boy. You want a treat? Come on. Thank you for not barking and waking your sister up. You're such a good boy. So I'm feeling good. Um, oh, postpartum bleeding started back. So I took the week off from working out um, and kind of did a little bit more laying and resting because I don't know what I did, but I was done bleeding and I started back again. So I'm like, you're doing the most and you need to chill out. Um, so it stopped again. So. I'm going to ease myself again into just cardio. I started lifting and I think that's what the problem was. Um, so I'm going to get back to doing cardio for maybe a couple more weeks and then transition into lifting and such. And I've been doing pelvic floor therapy stuff like rehab and trying to heal my core. But I got too excited. I had an energy drink and I started lifting for a couple of days and then my bleeding started. So I'm going to chill out 
and get back to it another week. Other than that, things are great. Loving life. God is amazing, per usual. Um, good days, bad days, but all in all, we are doing good and moving forward. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Goodbye.